Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeffrey and today I hope to make a quick video. I hope this is quick. I've tried to do it as fast as possible, but basically we're going to go over my entire shoe collection going into 2022. I'm going to let you know if I'm thinking of getting rid of anything, what I'm keeping and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to let you know what I paid for these, how I got some of these, and just a quick overview of the stuff I, I wear and the shoes that I liked and decided to keep throughout the years and it's about 20 pairs of shoes but before we begin i'm going to throw my instagram right here if you guys would go give that a follow if you guys are interested in that type of content it's basically just going to be fit pics and stuff like that uh, that would be much appreciated i'm going to leave all my socials on in the description if you guys are interested in any of that before we move on to the video if you guys are interested in type this type of content and in fashion in general and stuff like that fashion clothing pieces sneakers uh, consider subscribing i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year hopefully it's a goal that i can achieve it means a lot to me i'm appreciative of anyone who watches my videos thank you very much and let's move on to the video let's move on with the first pair of shoes the shoes that I have multiple colorways of i'm gonna bunch them up just to make the video quicker but i'm gonna show bureau for everything on feet just to let you know how they look in case you were thinking of about about buying this sneaker okay so first let's start with the sneakers and let me start with the one-off shoe Okay, and the first sneaker we're going to be reviewing is going to be the Ori Empire City High V2s. Being from New York, I definitely needed to get these sneakers. One, the colorway definitely caught my attention. Uh, that's when I found out about Ori and the brand. So it's definitely New York inspired, 100%. So it has the Statue of Liberty, it has the Highline on the heel, and it has the MTA tracks on the insoles of the sneakers. So, yep, yeah, definitely a cool sneaker, 100% would cop a double up if I needed to. So definitely one of my favorite sneakers in my collection and definitely not letting these go anytime soon. So we're gonna go with the Jordans first and our Nike first in general and the Jordans specifically. So I have these two sneakers right here. They're going to be the my favorite two pairs of Jordans in my whole collection. My favorite two pairs of Nikes in my whole collection are going to be the Jordan 1 Mochas and the Jordan 1 Obsidians. These shoes are mainly meaningful to me because both of these shoes were gifted to me by my girlfriend. It meant very much to me that she got me these shoes when I took the L's on the sneakers after them. Of course, two of the best colorways. Sneakers is not going to bless me, but my girl blessed me with these. I know everyone loves the Obsidians. Everyone wants Obsidian and stuff like that. And it's because it's a beautiful color of the shoe. Mochas is just, you know, brown on the back, black toe, just a clean shoe with cream all around. I threw new laces on both of them, basically a darker shade of cream just to make it look pop out and differentiate it from the sneaker. But yeah, um, what can I say about these shoes? They go with everything. You throw anything on with them. I could wear this sweater with either colorway. They would still look good going out. And what more is there to say about that? Shoes that you can wear with anything very good addition to the collection moving on we have uh, another pair of Jordan ones that I was very excited to pick up I purchased this I believe off of eBay and I bought them to do a little project basically I wanted to paint the midsoles to make them look aged and you're gonna see that that's a common theme in a lot of the sneakers I own and I love switching out the laces for the cream beige laces um, I would say they look uh, clean and they actually did what I wanted them to do when I applied the dye on them and yeah I would just say overall clean pair of sneakers and goes with everything pretty simple easy shoe to wear okay uh, moving on my last pair of Jordan ones is going to be the turbo greens uh, when I bought these I was very very excited to pick these up basically a colorway that was so unique uh, what actually happened was I was walking to my college campus and I saw somebody wearing them and that I broke my neck I was like those look clean why don't I have those I I'm surprised I don't even have those I was, I was unfortunate they didn't pick them up these were sitting on shelves when they first released you know, more and more people realize, whoa, these are actually such a beautiful colorway and the price skyrocketed. So I definitely needed to buy them before they went up anymore. Picked them up. Basically, I bought these as a staple piece because you really don't have to wear anything else. These are the shoes. They speak for themselves. They're so loud. Yeah, that's what you're basically buying this pair of sneakers for. But it was basically a, a beautiful green, shade of green that probably won't ever come out again. So picked these up, added them to the collection. Okay, so uh, other than Jordan 1s, I actually do like the Jordan 4s. Those are my second favorite Jordans. And honestly, I only have two pairs of these because I let a lot of them go under the radar. But I just picked these up because they were a clean white pair of sneakers. I switched the laces. I threw another pair of laces on them. And I got these because they're easy sneaker to wear. Easy to wear with a lot of stuff because they're an all white pair of sneakers to go with everything, basically. And that's basically what these are going to be for me. It's a pair of white sneakers. If I need a pair of white sneakers, I throw these on. Okay, the next pair of Jordans on this is going to be this pair of Jordan 4s. They're the Taupe Haze. The top Taupe. That is a very interesting word to say. The taupe, the taupe haze, Jordan 4s. And honestly, I when I saw these uh, leak or you know when they first you see like images of the sneaker, I knew I needed to get these. The color was too good to pass up. 
It's basically this brown that you see on a lot of pants. And then I saw Cran, if you know Cran, shout out to Cran on, on Instagram. But he did a custom and I decided to do the custom as well, which basically I painted the front of the sneaker, this little part and the back part cream. Jordan 4 is actually comfortable, um, surprisingly in my opinion. And yeah, they're very breathable. And I got these honestly because I needed the colorway, I needed the brown. Because I don't really have this brown in my sneakers, so definitely a pickup. So moving on to the dunks, I only have this pair of dunk highs in my collection. They're the Notre collaboration. As you can see, the collaboration, the major part of it is going to be on the inside of the shoe. Where they have a handshake going on. And I think that's a sick addition to the sneaker. Other than that, you're getting these, honestly, for the materials. The suede is insane. It's like a hairy suede all around and it's crazy to the touch. Never felt a sneaker like this in my life. The, the leather is pretty decent, but the suede is crazy honestly I, I don't regret buying these at all it's insane though like it like it's so hairy it's crazy uh, also I threw on new laces for these to match the soles of the sneaker the midsoles are already slightly cream and it was easy to match yeah but the details on the sneaker it's kind of crazy like the back right here matches the, another colorway that they provide within the shoelaces you know it's just a, a nice colorway definitely a fall shoe early springtime shoe. I wouldn't say it's a cold weather shoe in my opinion. It just looks like it. Okay, so next we're going to be talking about Dunk Lows and I have these two in my collection right here. As you can see, they're the UNC and I want to say the Team Green, Forest Green. Whatever green they want to call this sneaker, they gave it like 10 names and everyone gives it its own name. They did reviews for these on my channel and a custom and I put this the custom on my channel and now they're going to release this literal shoe. The same thing, exactly with the custom that I made, just making the soles aged and you know, beige. They're releasing it and everyone's going crazy for them. Everyone in the comments, oh I need these, I need these, I need these. Nike knows what they're doing. They know that people are loving the vintage and the old style shoes and they're just going to pump them out now. They can release every colorway and just put a vintage twist on it and it'll work. But you already know what these are. Dunks, they go with everything. The dunk hype is still here, it's still going. Honestly, when it goes away, there's still going to be a clean sneaker, classic sneaker to wear. They go with everything. Dress them up, dress them down. I don't even need to say any more about these. Okay, and the last pair of dunks that I own are going to be these off-white dunks. They're the Lot 8, I believe. Now, these mean a lot to me, actually. They are a very special shoe. Um, one, I was on vacation when I got these, and I got chosen. Very lucky. These were shoes that were only... Ch you got to be chosen to buy them from sneakers, which I believe that process was amazing because a lot of people were able to hit because I had a lot of stock, and they should just do that constantly with very hyped shoes. Don't know why they don't do it. But I want to say that um, you already know R.I.P. Virgil. It's insane what happened. It's actually depressing thinking about how that happened, why that happened. Anyways, it's a very meaningful pair of shoes. Ne definitely never leaving my, my collection. The only pair of off whites that I own, I don't even know if I want to buy any more in the future. But yeah, very clean. I switched out the laces, put in rope laces, cream, because they were loud before. They had some green, a neon green colorway. Didn't like that. Put these in to make them more quiet. And yeah, very comfortable shoe. What can I say? Okay, and the last pair of Nikes that I own are going to be these Paranoise 2.0 sneakers, the second colorway that released of these. And they're the shoes that uh, the top coat of paint can break off or remove. And they, for me, they're just breaking off. I choose not to remove it. I feel like the natural distressing looks the best on these. So it's going to be around the toe box and around the ankle area. And of course, the more I wear these, the more they'll crack and the more they'll break. And that's why I think that these shoes were a must cop. They're like a work of art. The box is beautiful that they came in. Look at the bottoms, look at the shoelaces, the, the, the writing on the uh, shoe tips, the pins that came with the sneaker, the, the tongue, the inside. It's, it's just a true, true collaboration, true work of art. 100% must cop and I bought it for that reason. And I hit these for retail. Thank the sneaker gods. They were blessing me for these. Definitely kept them, definitely won't be letting these go. Okay, so we're going to move on to the New Balance section of the video. Uh, we're going to talk about the 1300s kith collaboration that i picked up and it's going to be the great colorway they released they released these in two more colorways i camped for these and honestly these are the only shoes i've ever camped out for and that's why they're never going to leave my collection unless i need the money or definitely found something better these mean too much to me because it was the first time i camped out camped out with some buddies of mine and it was an adventure that whole night we were like basically sleeping on the streets going to 7-elevens buying McDonald's. you already know how the camping life goes if you've done it before but yeah uh, very clean sneaker. The suede is insanely buttery. Goes with everything. Threw new laces on them and very, very comfortable because you already know New Balance. They're known for the comfort and these do not disappoint. Okay, so the last two pairs of New Balances in the collection is going to be the New Balance 550 from ALD. I made a video on these before why they were so successful. It was because of ALD through their collaborations. They've been hitting these collaborations recently, have been going through the roof. And both of these colorways, these was, this was from the first release and these were from the second release. Both of them hit. I needed these in my collection, 100%. The green ones are my favorite sneaker out of all the sneakers you're going to see today. And honestly, 
they did a very good job on these the details they added to these and their own twist that ALD put on nothing beats these collaborations maybe the I believe there were the Rich Pauls I think that's that's the collaboration sorry if I'm mispronouncing that right but those were really nice colorway also if they if ALD did a baby blue I know that they would do it to perfection so very comfortable sneaker if wearing these for some reason makes you look more preppy and more sophisticated this leather and this shoe just gives off an NYC Soho vibe I don't know how to explain it but you know what I mean if you know what I mean okay next we're gonna go into the Yeezys portion of my video only got three pairs of Yeezys I used to be team Yeezy honestly way before I thought I was gonna have a big collection of Yeezys but the V2s these look amazing the 3M on these are beautiful the work of art and I bought the cream ones, not knowing the statics were going to be released, or I would not have purchased them, to be honest. But they're a good colorway to go with everything. And obviously, also the black goes with everything. So as you can see, both of these shoes, very, very versatile. Can go with any fit. The black ones, I actually wore them pouring in the rain in Disneyland, I believe. Disney World, I believe. Whichever the one is in Florida. Unfortunately, it was raining on my poor, poor suede, and I had to revive it. But nonetheless, was revived. Clean sneaker. Very, very tough. To cleaning and stuff like that so very good sneakers to destroy basically to wear to the ground which i definitely see it happening with these the next and last pair of yeezys are going to be the yeezy wave runners the first iteration of the yeezy 700s what can i say about the sneaker other than they are also a work of art the, for some reason the blue green yellow and orange all work and make sense in the sneaker like this when they first released they were a pre-order sitting on the website i remember that i didn't order i was like bricks didn't care about it but then I started pushing it more and more and eventually uh, the second third or fourth release I don't even remember I hit I got a W finally get to keep them for myself and they're very very comfortable my one grape is that the midsole of this foam sneaker tends to crease and has permanent creasing which is something I do not like with this but but what can you do this is definitely a very good colorway very very comfortable very sneaker and also probably one that I'll be wearing to the ground okay, so we're gonna move on to the boots and you know Birkenstock type sneakers that I own and then we're gonna move on to the beaters at the very end of the video but so for now we're gonna go to the boots okay so for these i saw somebody double lace theirs but they're gonna be the doc martin rick owen collaboration on the 1460s i saw someone throw two pairs of laces on them i think it looks sick however i think they would look better with um beige laces and i, I you'll probably agree that these look a little loud like this a little too much maybe but i think uh toning it down with uh, beige laces but still having the contrast between these and the i guess you could say the darker brown laces behind them it would definitely make the sneaker look way better um, in my opinion but on the, other than that these are a very unique sneaker the Rick Owen you already know you see it on the sneaker with all the looping around and the laces and stuff very heavy sneaker but very stylish and worth the pain that you start with you that you get with starting to wear these sneakers uh, very stylish one of my favorite boots that I own and honestly I don't even need to buy any more boots because I have these but I did get one more pair of boots Okay, the other pair of boots that I own and that I purchased are going to be the Ore Infantry boot that I purchased a little bit about, I want to say a month ago, I believe, a little over a month ago. And I was so lucky to hit these. So these shoes are going to be permanently restocking. I think the $400 price point is definitely there within the craftsmanship and the quality of the boot. Definitely a lot of hard work went into this boot. Ray definitely did his job. He knew what he was doing. You already know YKK zippers in the back of the boot. The eyelets are crazy tough, very, very sturdy. The comfortability inside the boot itself with the insole, you know, he's a sneakerhead, he knew what he was doing. And this boot is actually really comfortable. It does not hurt. You're not going to be have pain when to wear it. You're not breaking them in like a, like a Doc Martin. They'll probably be comfortable first wear out the door as long as you get your correct sizing. And Italian casking leather all around the boot. Vibram outsole. I, I really can't say anything else about this boot. That's it. If you need a pair of boots, don't buy a high-end pair that costs more than 500 Buy these. You will not be disappointed. Okay. Next, we have a pair of Adrian Loafers from Doc Martens. Everybody has a pair of these. If you don't have a pair of these, you're missing out because this shoe is insanely versatile and it's the easiest way to dress up for any occasion, to be honest. If you want to just, if you have a nice outfit, a very clean outfit, cardigan, nice pants, throw these on, your outfit went up times two, times ten, minimum. So, uh, very comfortable. After about three or four wears, you definitely have to break these in and definitely have to get your correct sizing. That's something I'll know for these. But if these go down, these go bad, I'm just going to go to order another pair because these are staple in anyone's collection. Sorry if it seems like I'm going a little fast. I, this video, if it didn't, it would take 20 plus minutes and I don't want that. So next we're going to be going over my Birkenstocks, the only pair I own. I haven't even worn these out yet, I'm not going to lie. The streets in New York, disgusting, slushy, snowy streets. Haven't had a chance to wear uh, almost any of my sneakers. So 
I've only been wearing my beaters outside, so I'll be waiting for springtime to wear these. But these were a pair of long socks. Clean, clean, clean. You need a pair of Birkenstocks. I don't know. People definitely hate on these a lot. This gets a lot of hate. But they're extremely comfortable after you wear them a couple of times, so I've heard. And honestly, when I put them on to try them on, they're already extremely comfortable, so... Definitely a good shoe. Versatile. Can go with anything. I think mainly for the lazy jogger fits that this is a sneaker for that. For sure, 100%. Can't go wrong. Okay, so that was all my sneakers and boots. Those are my main collection, basically. Now I'm going to show you the beaters. I think I have about four pair of beaters. And I'm going to go over those extremely fast. Okay, so first pair of beaters are going to be my cleanest pair of beaters. But they're definitely dirty and I don't plan on cleaning them soon. They're going to be the Air Max 90 Infrared colorways. When these re-released again... I 100% needed them because of how much I was a fan of these. It's such an easy pair to just throw on your feet and leave the house in. So, very comfortable shoe, very breathable, very light. Definitely gonna run these to the ground because I throw these on all the time, to be honest. Next, rapid fire. The next pair of be beater shoes are gonna be these Jordan 1s that, as you can see, are the snake skins. However, they're dyed here. And now this is with the test sneakers before I dyed any of the other ones with the candle dye. And uh, these came out pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, these came out cleaner than... Well, the most clean pair because I was most careful with these. The quality sucks, in my opinion. These are the, the worst quality Jordans that I've ever released ever. And honestly, mine were so bad that I, um, mine had a mine had a hole in, in the sneakers after w walking in a specific way repeatedly. Just doing this, just a regular crease, a hole was found in the top of my sneaker. So disgusting quality. Very disappointed with these, but that's why they're beater pair Jordans. I wear them with. Anything, I just need to go outside to the store or whatever, no matter. Okay, we're gonna go over a pair of boots that I use for work. Now, these are the Bates Tactical Boots, I think the 6 inch. And I'm not gonna lie, these are destroyed, dirty as hell because I wear them in the, in the rain and the slush, everything. And when I clean them up though, I'm pretty sure these are pretty good sneakers to throw on the grunge outfit, you know, with a nice vintage hoodie and some cargoes. These would go really well with that. Next are my pair of Ultra Boost beaten to the ground. It is impossible to keep Ultra Boost clean. Don't know how anyone does it. I don't even think it's possible. I don't think anyone has ever done it. As soon as water touches Ultra Boost, yellowing instantly. As soon as air touches Ultra Boost, it's gonna yellow instantly. This sneaker is impossible to keep clean. That's why I'm really um, not gonna probably buy any other Ultra Boost in the future. These are almost gonna start revealing the boost, and I wore these a lot, but not that much. I definitely wore um, these sneakers a lot, but I feel like they just deteriorate way too fast for my liking. As you can see, hole in the sneaker. Um, yeah, what can I say? Okay, moving on, are gonna be my only pair of Chelsea boots that I own. I bought these a long time ago, definitely over four or five years ago. Definitely still wearable. I got them from College Spring. 100% recommend that shop for, for boots and stuff like that. Very good pricing. I believe these were either 80 to 90 or maybe even 60. Very good pricing. Got a lot of compliments on this boot. What can I say? So yeah, that was my entire sneaker collection going into 2022. Thank you for watching the video. This is my collection. These sneakers mean a lot to me. I'm definitely working on getting more fashionable clothing pieces now. Not focus on sneakers that much unless it's something I really, really need. But I'm trying to fix, uh, focus on making my wardrobe bigger and stuff like that. So if you're interested in fashion and sneaker type content, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. Definitely will be, hopefully it will be worth your time when I make them and stuff like that. If you enjoyed the video, like the video, um, let me know down below, comment uh, what you think, stuff like that. Yep, what can I say? Thank you for watching the video. Very much appreciated. Have a great week. Hope everything goes well for you guys. Peace out.